Notebook LM is honestly one of the most underrated tools for creators and solopreneurs right now because once again they've just shipped something that is super powerful. Notebook LM dropped two new features that can turn your ideas, content, any knowledge into really powerful professional visual assets. I'm talking about infographics and entire slide decks. Both of those features are powered by Google's Nano Banana Pro model. I'm so excited to walk you through these features today because those are the kind of features that create new opportunities instead of just creating overwhelm. So if you're building a solo business, if you create educational content, if you're creating offers and services and working with clients, or literally any type of activity that involves turning your knowledge into digital assets, this update is going to be incredibly powerful. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to turn any material that you have into polished visuals that not only save you time and increase your social media, presence but also add credibility for your business. Let's dive in. First you need to go to notebookalarm.google.com. One important thing I want to mention when they just released these two features a couple of days ago they were available on free account so you did not have to pay for Notebook Alarm. but what I've noticed when I was about to record this tutorial that these two features, they disappeared from my free account. So they were kind of grayed out and it says they're currently unavailable, but they're working on getting them back. Seems like they're just having some issues with the rollout. So it is likely that they are going to be available in your free account. Depending on when you're watching that, just check that. But right now I had to upgrade to Pro and then it gives me access. What we're gonna do now is press on Create New and this creates a new notebook. Here we can upload multiple types of uh, files. It could be a link to a YouTube video, it could be a pasted text from your long-form content, and it could be files from Google Drive, PDFs, audio, images even, different sources that you can provide that are relevant to what you want to create. Recently they also added Excel to this, so you can actually upload quite a lot of data. So this is one way. You just upload the sources that you have and this is what we're going to start with. So let's say my use case would be um, I have a YouTube video and I want to create an infographic visualizing what I talk about in the video that I can use on my social media. So I'm going to get a link to the video where I explain different ways to customize ChatGPT and then we're going to pasted here. Now you can see it's adding the sources. You can add multiple sources. Now we're just going to go ahead and create an infographic. So it's right here on the right side and you can customize it a little bit. You can choose a language. It's quite incredible that you can do in many different languages, but we want English. You can choose the orientation if you're creating something for social media like Instagram, TikTok, it's portrait. If you're creating something for uh, your newsletter or presentation could be landscape or square. Here you can give some custom instructions, uh, what kind of style or what to focus on. So let's say if you're researching a complex topics, like you don't want everything to be in infographics, but you want to just zoom in on certain areas areas, this is where you can give these instructions. But for now, I actually don't want it to give any instructions. I just want to see what it comes with. And I'm going to keep it portrait. So now it's going to go ahead and generate the infographic for me. It's going to take a couple of minutes. And while it's generating it, I just want to give you some ideas. What kind of use cases can you be thinking? So the biggest use case that I see is social media assets, right? So let's say you have a long form content or a webinar, a presentation that you're doing, a keynote, any long form content you've created, you can turn it into infographics that you can share on LinkedIn, Twitter. It performs so much better than regular posts. So it's a great way to add that little extra to your post that will make it seen by more people. So LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, like depending on your niche, if you're in a wellness niche, this is incredible because you can really create beautiful infographics with it and post it on Pinterest and your Instagram. You can make it really visual. You can customize the style that you wanted to create in. The second big use case, I think, is 
if you're more on a service side, you're providing services or you engage with a lot of stakeholders, let's say you have a framework as a coach, right? Instead of sitting in the PowerPoint, like drafting your whole framework, you can just feed this information to Notebook LM and ask to create the infographic. You can customize the style, visualize complex topics, add this in presentations, offers, sales pages, landing pages, like literally anywhere. So those are the two main use cases that I'm seeing. And I'm pretty sure there are many more depending on what space you're in, what niche you're in. Let's check what has it created for us. So this looks really nice. It kept it to the portrait format. It really captured how I was talking about it in this video where to use projects, where to use memory, where to use custom GPT. Let's try and customize it a little bit. So we say make it minimalist and elegant, simple icons. Use sage green as main color. I just want to try what it can do and then we'll wait a couple of minutes. Okay, so now it's done. Let's check it out. You can see totally different vibe, right? It became more minimalistic. It definitely uses sage green color. I loved how it clustered this. I think this is really cool because this means that regardless what type of niche or space you're in, this is not only for AI generated infographics that I'm sure that are going to overflow social media, LinkedIn and all this, right? But you can actually use it to your advantage and customize it to your style, to the way you like to communicate with your audience, which I think is so, so incredible. It's a powerful feature that you can really customize to your aesthetics, to your brand, to your way of communicating this information. Now we're going to start a new notebook and we're going to create a slide deck. We press a new notebook and I'm not going to update any files. Instead, we're gonna do some research. Let's say we want to create a presentation. One thing that I would love to do eventually is to make a deep dive and maybe start sharing with others what to think about when raising kids in the AI era. I have two kids, I really, want them to be able to leverage this technology, but at the same time, I want them to lean into living a normal human life. So I'm very strict with devices and things like that. I would love to do some research here. So my prompt is quite messy, but basically what I'm saying, what does the new AI era means for raising kids, uh, kids future and education? how to think about it as a parent to make sure that kids are equipped for human first life, but leveraging this technology in the best way. So let's just go with that and see what happens. It's going to take a couple of minutes. It took probably seven, eight minutes, but it's now completed. We can see here it's curated 47 sources for us. We can review those sources and choose the ones that we want to include. So we can see different articles. We can actually see where those sources are coming from. We can press on the link and double check them. You want to make sure that the sources are good and credible. What you can do here, now you can choose to import all of them and we can try and do that. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now you can see we've imported all the sources and what you can do at any point, like let's say you've read some interesting articles, you've read something before that you also want to include, then you just press add sources and you add it here. So while it's uploading, let's look into the slide deck feature. We can see here that we can also customize it we can create either a detailed deck or presenter slides, but I'm gonna check the detailed deck, English, and then we choose default. Here we can also customize it. I want to say create full deck max 12 slides with top five tips for parents. Keep it simple, do not overwhelm with information. And then we just press generate. Okay, so now it's gonna be generating the slide deck based on 40 sources. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the presentation is ready. Let's check it out. Okay, so we have the cover page. We have an intro, the most important skills for a happy life. Life, a human, okay, it's a repetition can easily remove this with Canva AI. Some references from the studies, some quotes. 
And here is it actually formatted it as tips. We asked for tips, use AI together, be the co-explorer, don't let AI become a solitary activity, be a critical thinker, question everything AI says, focus on what AI can't do, prioritize activities that build empathy, creativity, kindness, collaboration. And look at this, it even creates the graphics for it. I really love it. Be a role model. And look here, it summarizes the guiding principles and gives the sources that it's used. It's with the 12 slides. We can download it from here and it's basically going to be open as PDF and then we can, yeah, we can use it in different formats. I'm really, really impressed with this and I hope it gives you a hint on how you can use it. This opens up so many opportunities. So a couple of additional use cases I want to give you just to get your creative juices flowing so you can start thinking how you can use it. Let's say if you have B2B kind of services, what you can do is before you reach out to the company, instead of doing a cold outreach, you can do deep research about this company. You identify what they have been doing in this space. Then based on this research, you add description of your services, what you can provide, your pricing, your offer, and then you turn it into a coherent presentation or proposal. So I think this is so powerful. If you're a course creator, you can create course slides. If you run webinars, if you run workshops, endless possibilities. So the only downside I see here at this point, and I'm sure it's going to be more flexible in the future, is that you can't really customize your brand templates. You can still do some work with this in Canva. Of course, it adds more friction, but it depends on your use case. I would be surprised if they wouldn't add this possibility in the future. But overall, look at this. It created images. It has the infographics. It has the sources, the quotes. It followed what we asked for. And I keep saying that about Notebook Alarm, why this is extra powerful, especially if you need to share some information and make sure that this information is legit, Notebook Alarm works with the sources, which means it hallucinates much less. If you ask ChatGPT to do this research, like in most cases, it will be okay, but you can never be sure because it could just hallucinate in the process and add information that is not true or reliable. And you would never know. Here you have control over the sources, which reduces this risk. I hope you enjoyed this video and I do hope that you're going to try Notebook Alarm's features and let me know in the comments what you think and what use cases you're going to try it for. I'm super curious to know. And I honestly cannot stress this enough. The combination of Google's models and the pairing with Nano Banana Pro model, right? The ability to generate or visualize the knowledge into images of different types, whether it would be infographics or slides, that is incredibly powerful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.